Welcome you all to the module 5 of Municipal Solid Waste Management. The main topics to be discussed in module 5 is the disposal of solid waste. The commonly used methods for the disposal of solid waste on land are sanitary landfill method, incineration method, composting and disposal into the sea. The two methods included in our syllabus are the first two methods that is the sanitary landfill method and incineration method. Now we shall see the first method that is the sanitary landfill method. It is an engineered site where waste is isolated from the environment below the ground or on top until it is safe and completely degraded biologically, chemically and physically. Now we can see what is the difference between dumping and sanitary landfill. A dump is an open pit in the ground where the trash is disposed and animals breed on it. There is no environmental protection. Whereas a sanitary landfill is a carefully designed and monitored structure that isolates trash from the surrounding environment. That is, it prevents its leachate from entering into the groundwater. Also, a daily covering of the soil is done. Now we can see what are the steps in the sanitary landfill method. The first step is the dumping and compaction which is done for a depth of 40 to 60 cm. Next, it is the daily cover. After every day's work, a daily cover is laid at a depth of 15 cm. Now, the third step, it is the intermediate cover. That is, once the three layers are completed, an intermediate cover is given which is at a depth of 30 cm. Now, the last step, it is the final cover. After the entire landfill work is completed, a final cover of 60 cm is laid. Let us discuss the two types of sanitary landfill. The first one is the area method. This method is used when the terrain is unsuitable for the excavation of trenches and when the groundwater table is high. Each layer is compacted as the filling progresses. At the end of each day, a daily cover of 15 cm thickness is laid. The cover soil is collected from the nearby areas by means of truck or other earth moving equipments. This is the photograph of the area method. In this method you can see the landfilling processes. The waste collection truck disposes the waste and a bulldozer does the compacting work. The landfill after completion is much above the original ground level. Now we can discuss the second method that is the trench method. It is ideally suited to areas where an adequate depth of earth is available as cover material and when the water table is far below the ground surface. A portion of the trench is dug first and the earth is removed to form an embankment. After that the solid waste is placed in the trench and the daily cover is laid after each day's work. This is the photograph of a trench method. We can see the trenches are excavated at a suitable depth and the waste is filled into the trenches and compacted by means of bulldozer. After each day's work, a daily earth cover is laid. These are the advantages and disadvantages of a landfill. The main advantages are the landfill is mainly constructed where land is available. The initial investment is very low. It receives all types of solid waste that is no segregation is required. The landfill area can be reclaimed for use as parking areas, playground etc. The main disadvantages are in the highly populated areas this method is not suitable because the land area available may be very less. It requires periodic maintenance also. Now we can see the second method for the disposal of solid waste that is the incineration method. It is the process of direct burning of waste in the presence of excess air at 800 degrees Celsius and liberating heat energy, inert gas and ash. 
about 65 to 85 percent of the energy content of the organic matter can be recovered as heat energy and used for power production. The incineration produces carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen, SO2 and ashes. This is a picture of an incinerator. The burning process takes place inside the furnace. The main advantages of incineration process are this method is an efficient way to reduce the waste volume and also where land is unavailable for the construction of landfill. Energy can be recovered for heat or power consumption.